Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome on the Culture News. My name is David Sorero, and I have the pleasure to have today the very, very talented artist. He's a phenomenal. I had the pleasure to interview him uh, not long time ago. He is a phenomenal artist. He knows his name. He's Chris James. Let me spell Chris. K-R-I-S. James. He has released a fantastic a single that is in the top chart in the UK, but also in many other places. The name of the track is called Eyes Open, and we're going to play that track right after the interview today on iTunes. So be sure to really, really stick in this interview, but we won't need to force you because he is absolutely uh, divine. Ladies and gentlemen, please meet the one and only, Mr. Chris James. How are you today, Chris? Very well. Thank you very much for having me back. How are you? Uh, very well. Thank you so much for being with us today. So, first of all, uh, I have a question uh, for you. Uh, tell us, please, where that song Eyes Open is from and how was it created? Well, uh, Eyes Open basically came from, I was in a songwriting session with a couple of my friends I used to be in a band with. And we just came up with the idea because we've all been in the type of relationship, you know, where you're madly uh, besotted with somebody and they really don't treat you so well. And so the kind of the song, the message in the song is about taking yourself out of that situation, looking at the person for who they are, and then moving away and just knowing that, you know, you'll be okay on your own, you know, when you come out of that situation. So it's a bit of a bittersweet message. But yeah, the song was written back in, uh, in, in Minneapolis about uh, seven or eight months ago when we were on a writing trip in America. Well, it's a beautiful, beautiful story. And I, I want to ask you, uh, so you're from London, right? And that, that's where you're based now, right? That's right. Well, I'm originally from Liverpool, but, uh, but I've been living in London for the past six or seven years since I got my record deal here. And, and do you think there is um, a very specific sound of your music genre um, in London? And do you think that if you would have performed or even recorded uh, eyes open in America, it would have had uh, a different sound because w what I feel in London, especially when you know when we look at all the things that you're doing, you're very very involved into the aesthetic of uh, of the music of of the artwork, the poster, and, and the creativity is also very important. And on your Instagram, and we know that in London, fashion is uh, uh, very very uh, influential and and in the music. So do you think that um, this is also what made uh, Eyes Open uh, what it is today, the fact that it was done in London also? Well, yeah, I mean, the, the, the funny thing about it was the actual producer is a, a guy called John Fields, who you might know from producing the Jonas Brothers, Miley Cyrus, you know, Demi Lovato, to name a few. So he's actually... Um, you used to live in LA and now moved to Minneapolis. So we, we actually went out there and recorded with him. So the song has got, uh, you know, it's obviously a, a British song. We, we wrote it ourselves, but it was kind of like, uh, it, because of the production of the American sound, it, it's kind of a mixture of that American. It's kind of like American English sound because I hear that uh, we, it, it has had a couple of spins in America on a couple of stations and the feedback has been very good. Uh, American, generally American productions have a bigger, much bigger sounding production. So we took a bit of a risk with doing that here in the UK because in the UK, you know, everything's very pretty and small and not very big and brash. So, so yeah, so, so that really, actually the guy that did it is American. So you probably hear that kind of big, big sound from him. And then, uh, you know, the fashion, you know, I'm, I'm very lucky living in London. I mean, I'm, I'm sure the same for you in New York when you have, you know, the, the New York Fashion Week and the London Fashion Week. So you, you, you always find, you know, when you're a new artist or you're an emerging artist, you will get like different stylists and, and different uh, designers wanting to come along and try to give you some things to wear on your next photo shoot or the next video shoot. So, so the fashion has been a very big thing, you know, because for me personally, I, I have my own fashion, I have my own style, um, but I'm always open to work with lots of different fashion designers because obviously when you look at the photography and the, the photographs, it's all very highly styled, but it, it is kind of my own style, but, but a little bit of that, that, the kind of high-end designers that you would, you would see on London Fashion Week, yes. And, and we're very, very happy to do that. And do, do you have any uh, uh, projects to work maybe 
more in in the in the fashion like to create uh, some music for some fashion shows uh, also to perform at some fashion show because uh, maybe I'm absolutely wrong but I'm willing to take the chance that you have uh, I believe your music fits very well with fashion and fashion fits very well also with your music um, so I have the feeling that um, you are going to be very well involved in that genre of uh, of art expression uh, of fashion in that you would design your own clothes and you would do some um, collaboration with some fashion brand also through your music. Did you have already some kind of a uh, involvement in that in that genre? By example, some you perform at some fashion show or some uh, fashion parties or something like that? Absolutely. Well, usually when I'm uh, when it's London Fashion Week, because obviously I'm a known artist in the UK, I always get to go to very, very thankfully that I'm always offered to go. Uh, last London Fashion Week, I was actually reporting for a very, very uh, high-end men's luxury uh, fashion and lifestyle magazine called Candid Magazine. So, you know, I, I do do sometimes I do work, uh, not generally singing there, but be just before, you know, turning up as a kind of personal appearance. And also doing some reporting on the fashion because I do I do really enjoy fashion. Currently, uh, the the collaboration that I'm doing is with Wrangler. Wrangler here in the UK are doing uh, the summer of Wrangler. So I did a photo shoot recently, and I have a lot of clothes from Wrangler. They've got a lot of vibrant colours for the, for the now the British summer that we're in. So the current campaign I'm I'm a part of is the Wrangler. Uh, summer summer of Wrangler. The the, uh, the campaign is called, and that's going really really well. If you have some extra clothes, uh, feel free to send them to me. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I've got lots. You can have them. <laughs> because let me tell you, here in New York, uh, you know, fashion is not the, the greatest thing <laughs> we're known for, you know. So we... Well, I hope that... You know, no, because I, I saw on your Instagram and everybody now must go unless you're driving. Uh, must definitely go on the Instagram of our dear friend Chris James. And his Instagram is Christopher J. That is spelled it K-R-I-S-T-O-F-E-R-J-A-Y. And, and definitely uh, follow him and see all the wonderful clothes that he's wearing. So, you know, I hope that you're going to send me some of these, definitely. The leather Absolutely jacket. Well, I'm in New York. Oh, man. <laughs> the leather jacket. I want to steal it from you. It's, uh, it's divine, <laughs> divine, divine, divine. And Thank I saw so I read much. this wonderful interview of yours in, in a great magazine. We say hello to them. They are our friends. Uh, wonderlandmagazine.com. It's a beautiful uh, website oh, yeah. and are, are, are artistic. So I really feel that today in London you are really representing uh, this, uh, I would say, underground, but it's not really underground because what's underground now is what is not underground, actually. It's what is the yeah, masses, yeah, yeah. you know. But you're representing this uh, uh, creative uh, new generation of uh, uh, artists, um, is it something that you you are proud of, and and do you think that this is what is finally your signature of you know in this beautiful jungle? And I don't mean jungle to be a, a derogative word, but in this beautiful no. jungle of all these artists, you know, especially with a YouTube, with a, everybody feel they can be an artist by just uh, filming Absolutely. themselves. And, and do you think this is your signature? Well, yes. I mean, you know, as I, as I said previously, I was in a band before. So when you're kind of in a band, it's like a pop boy band. You know, you, you kind of have to stick to the, the same genre of music and not just that, the same style. You know, everyone is similar and very sweet. So I feel now I've got my solo career and it's going really, really well for me. I think it's now time for me to branch out and really show, uh, you know, my fans and, and the people that follow me, uh, you know, what, what I, who I am as an artist, but also the expression through fashion as well. You know, it's very, very important. And, you know, as you outlined, you know, music and fashion is one one huge uh, combination that works really, really well. So, you know, for the next couple of you know years, I think I'm just going to concentrate on really defining my own sound. I have an album coming out next year. And along the way, I would love to do some collaborations with different different, you know, uh, designers and, uh, you know, I have a couple of people that work uh, on, on my different styling imagery for different uh, uh, things that I do in events, but yeah, 
so it's just really about for me to grow. But now I'm able to do that being a solo artist. It's very exciting for me because I can kind of do what I want and keep the artistic control as well. But, I, you know, I love being surrounded by lots of, you know, in London, certainly, I know so many famous YouTubers and bloggers, you know, some of these guys have got, you know, five, ten million followers on, on and it's just crazy, but it, it's nice to be around the creative, you know, club of people. You know, I was at Instagram two nights ago, and it was just amazing with bloggers, singers, models, actors, you know, from America, all over the place. So it's very nice to be in a, in a pond of creativity, you know. And you are definitely at the top of this uh, uh, creativity. And we spoke before, you know, of, and I'm sorry if I repeat some of the same uh, 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 question, but you are really, really, first of all, you have strong charisma and you, you, I'm just crazy about the creativity of the artwork of your uh, wonderful single called Eyes Open, and I invite everybody to go on Spotify, to go on iTunes, <laughs> to go on all the places to really, not only to listen to the music, but pay also attention uh, uh, to it. Um, is it, uh, the, the, what, what is the influence for you? Uh, because, you know, I have the feeling that nowadays, uh, we, and I had that conversation with Tara Williams on AOL, uh, is that now we, we watch music more than we listen to it. You know, um, you, you know, with all this music video, like you see, by example, the song Happy of Fire Williams, uh, the music video, that's what made the song uh, explode, you know. Um, so I, I'm wondering if um, you have some music video coming up and definitely if that song Eyes Open will benefit a lot from the music video and what are you trying to give in the music video? Well, actually, funny you should say that. The music video just came out a couple of days ago, so it's now available on YouTube. It's just Chris James' eyes open, and the official video is there. Now, obviously, I was discussing the, the, the song being about being, you know, in a kind of abusive relationship, and so what I've done with the music video is I've, I'm in the video featured, but the video tells a story of an abusive relationship, but the, but the abuse is coming from the woman, against a man because usually you know we're very quick to criticize the man you know he's he's hitting the woman and he's treating her you know very badly so i've been first-hand experience of it being the other way so i just decided to be a little bit cheeky but the video is actually um it, it's it's about a woman basically breaking down her, her boyfriend so so it's a very uh serious video but a very very good video and i'm getting lots of views and lots of great comments But I, I kind of felt it important to, to highlight that it's not just men that are always accused of beating on women. It's actually the other way around as well. So we have to be very, you know, uh, you know, almost like water about this, you know, and, and, and have, it happens on both sides. So the video is, 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 is basically based on an abusive relationship, but the woman being the, the one that's uh, giving the abuse to the man which may cause me some problems, <laughs> but I, I don't want to be beating up on, on any woman in particular, but I just thought it was very interesting to do something just a little bit, you know, a little bit dangerous, shall we say. <laughs> no, it, it, it's absolutely um, a, a wonderful thing that you're doing, and, you, and, and I'm reading this uh, amazing um, article that you got on The Sun, which is probably the biggest uh, British uh, publication. So it just shows us what kind of uh, artist we are dealing with, which is one of the top-notch artists. And, and here's what they write. The song's music video shines a light on the issue of emotional abuse against men in relationships. Uh, with Chris telling the sign online he wanted to tackle the issue. Cause I got my... 